If you are a researcher who publishes papers, you must know different journals have different citation and referencing styles. And manually editing them for a journal not only takes a lot of your precious time, but is error prone too. I have seen many a times a research article is sent back to the authors during initial quality check, just because the references are not properly formatted. Moreover, if your paper gets rejected by one journal and you choose to submit it to another journal, it might require reformatting all the references. Today's video tutorial is about one of the most popular and freely available software Zotero that automatically formats citations and references according to the journal format you are planning to submit your paper to. I myself use this software for publications and I will cover everything about the software right from the scratch. First I will show how to download and install the software, how to add Zotero connector to the web browser for directly citing the paper while you are reading it at the journal page. In the second part I will cover creating free Zotero account to synchronize libraries. Next I will show you 5 different ways to add literature or research articles to Zotero library some of which you may not find elsewhere. Then I will show you how to cite a paper in your research article. At last I will show you how to format the citations and references based on journal requirements. So watch the video till the end and I am sure you will be hugely benefited from it. So let's start with downloading and installing the Zotero. Simply search for download Zotero. Click its official link zotero.org. It will automatically detect your operating system. In my case it is Windows. Therefore I will download this one. You can also download Zotero for other platforms like Mac or Linux. Next you proceed for installation using default settings. Meanwhile you can also install Zotero connector for your web browser. I am using Firefox but you may choose any other compatible browser. This connector will help you to directly add research article to your Zotero library from the journal page. Let's proceed further to installing Zotero with the standard setting. You can now see Zotero is installed. You can also see a new icon of Zotero connector in your web browser for directly adding research paper from journal website to your Zotero library. Open the Microsoft Word page. Here you can see new tab showing Zotero plugin. This shows that now Zotero is linked to MS Word. Next, it is important that you sync your literature or research article to the Zotero server so that you can access all those articles on different computers and you have a backup on the server. For this, you need to create a free Zotero account and set a username and password for synchronizing your literature data and files. The good thing about Zotero is that you can use academic or non-academic email ID to create your Zotero account. Once you register, you will get a registration link on your email ID you entered. Copy that link to the web browser to activate your Zotero account. You can see that the account is now validated. Next you can go back to Zotero application and enter the username and password you just created. and click setup syncing to synchronize your Zotero library from your local computer to the Zotero server.
coming on to the part 3 of the tutorial on 5 different ways to add research articles and create a Zotero library. The first way is by adding the research paper by using identifier. The identifier may be a PubMed ID or DOI number of your research article or some other supported ID. But I recommend to use DOI number. For this, suppose you want to add a particular paper from journal's website, just copy the DOI and paste it on identifier option in the Zotero application. As you hit enter, it will automatically collect all the information linked to that identifier. The second way and the easier one is using Zotero connector that I mentioned previously. Just go to the official page of the research article and click on save to Zotero. You may choose a specific folder within the Zotero library that you can create for better organization but I am saving it to the main library only. Wait a few seconds and hit done. You can now see the paper has been added to the Zotero library. I am repeating the same process with a different paper. Just click save to Zotero and the paper will be added to the Zotero library. When you expand the selection, if its complete PDF is available, you can view it. Thus, you can even have a library of entire research paper on Zotero for easier access. The third way is by importing reference citation using Google Scholar library. For this, you need to have an account on Google Scholar. You need a Gmail ID for this. Next, you can make a library of selected papers on your Google Scholar. Click on Save to Zotero and choose the paper you would like to add to your Zotero library. You can now see the selected papers have been added to Zotero. You can also import one or multiple papers in .ras format. For this, you need to export the selected papers in a supported reference management format from Google Scholar. Next click on file and import the reference file we just downloaded. This way, all the references will be added to Zotero library. The same will be seen under my library, but as we have added just the citations, their PDF files may not be available. For getting their PDF, you may choose one of the previous methods I have mentioned. The fifth way is adding full PDF articles to the Zotero library. You just have to download or get the PDF of research article. Next, simply drag this file to the Zotero application. Just hold the left click of the mouse over the PDF file and drag it to the Zotero window. The research paper will be added to the Zotero library along with its PDF. You can simultaneously add multiple papers to the Zotero library. Coming on to the fourth part of the tutorial of citing articles in the Word document and adding bibliography. Next, go to the Word document in which you want to cite the papers. For example, here I have to add a few citations using Zotero. So I go to the Zotero tab and click on Add or Edit Citation. Here I can search for author name or keyword in the title to find relevant paper from Zotero library we just created. Choose the desired citation. Similarly, we can add multiple citations at once. To add bibliography or references, simply click on Add or Edit References.
You can also add or remove citations using add or edit citation option. The changes in the bibliography will automatically be made. Now let's quickly see how to format the citation and references based on the journal type. For this you need to go to the document preferences, manage style, then click on get additional styles. Here search for the journal name and click OK. Once again go to the document preferences. Now you can see the journal name you just added. Select it and click OK. The citation and references will automatically get formatted according to the journal style. In Zotero you can also make different projects for different manuscripts. You can categorize your library based on this. You can also add papers to your specific project through any of the five different ways we just learned. All your papers and citations can be found under my library. I hope with this you have learned how to manage your references through Zotero for your upcoming manuscripts. I have made a separate tutorial on reference management using Mendeley. You can also check it out. If you want to learn more about research and publishing, I have made a series of videos on these topics. Subscribe to get informed about my latest uploads. Thanks and see you in my next video.